In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins that we may worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of all believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native tongue? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord 
except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also in Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak to you today uh, on this Feast of Pentecost on the idea of coming and going. There's, um, of course, the word Pentecost means 50 days, and it's 50 days since Easter, and we uh, now acknowledge the coming of the great, the great coming of the Holy Spirit. And when I, when I say coming and going, we always cry out, come Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit responds, now go ye therefore <laughs> unto all the nations. And you see, if you really look at this passage from Acts today, the Acts of the Apostles in the second verse, you, you see that um, frightened people were gathered in this upper room. The doors are locked. They've seen the Lord ascend. They've, they've seen him risen from the dead, and now they've seen him ascend. And he's told them about power from on high, and yet still they feel anxious, they feel frightened, and they're gathered, and the doors are locked. But then, like a strong wind, in tongues of fire, the Spirit comes to them. Notice two signs of the Holy Spirit. The wind. The word spirit really means breath. Like we get the word respiration, right? The very breath of God, if you will, kind of a cardiopulmonary resuscitation going on here. God breathing new life into, the, into these human beings so often dead in fear. Breathing this new life. And then tongues of fire, which, if you will, the shape, the tongue, is they've got to now go and proclaim so the real upshot of this whole event is that they're, they're being strengthened for this mission to go to the ends of the earth. And so what's the result? 
The result is all fear is gone. Peter throws open the doors and a crowd is gathered and fearful Peter now goes and preaches such a barn burner of a sermon that he had 3,000 converts. I don't think I've ever had that many from one sermon. <laughs> Not even close. But this is what the Spirit does. gives him courage. In, and, and the word encouragement means to be summoned to, to courage. We also use this text a lot with confirmation because to be confirmed means to be strengthened. From the Latin word confirmare means to strengthen. They're being strengthened and given courage for the great mission. To do what? To go. So the Holy Spirit has come so that they can go, go forth unto all the nations. Another maybe image for you, and I'm afraid sometimes in the church, we're all huddled up. We get together in our churches and we're all huddled up and we're talking quietly among ourselves. And at some point you want to say, come on, y'all throw the doors open and go out and preach the gospel to a darkened world. And so in a way, there comes a moment in a football game. If you were watching a football game, if all they did was huddle, <laughs> would you watch it for long? They're all huddled up, all huddled. And there comes a time when you break the huddle and you execute the play. And that's Pentecost. Now you see the church is called to go out, to go forth, and to preach and to teach with courage. So many of these people who were gathered in that room that day, 120 in all, so many of them would endure martyrdom, arrest. But now that the Spirit came upon them, they were given this courage, tongues of fire had given them a word to proclaim, and they could not but speak of what they'd seen and heard. A total transformation is underway. And so again for all of us on Pentecost, the normal Christian life is to be filled with courage, with a joyful exuberance at proclaiming Jesus Christ, him crucified and risen from the dead, and the Lord of my life, he who is changing my life. This I proclaim to you. That's the message of Pentecost. Repentance for the forgiveness of sins unto all the nations, beginning in Israel. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this great day, we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. So let us ask the Lord to renew the world and, and the church in each one of us. For the leaders of the church, May they be filled with the Holy Spirit like the apostles and speak of God's unending love for everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, may the face of the earth be renewed by fire of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and for an increase in vocations to the priesthood religious life, and the permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each one of us, may we never be afraid to follow where the Holy Spirit leads us, knowing that we will find true happiness and peace in the will of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your Spirit renews our world. May he fill us with your love and enable us to do your will. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Please pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit, may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all the truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Yeah, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you had made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you would accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and for all those who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of Pentecost, on which the Holy Spirit appeared to the apostles in tongues of fire, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the ever-glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all your saints, 
We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. And therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock that you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who on the day before he was to suffer, took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, he giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants and all those who've gone before us with the sign of faith and now rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. And to us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share of fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, you fill them with life, and you bless them, and you bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and as safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. 
and that's your name. Take Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, by the grace you have given, the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out, that all may retain its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilicatvmass. Take us